We are at Kleinfeld's. Yo, it's like the line is around the corner and then around the corner. <laughs> like, it's insane. There's no men here. It's perfect. Perfect day. Hey guys, so today I thought I would talk a little bit about the Kleinfeld bridal sale and my opinion of it. So, let's get into it. First, I'll show you my receipt. I'm like, is my credit card information on here? This is my receipt. And we'll talk more about that in a second. So, I got engaged on December 24th, 2019. And right away, I started planning my wedding. A lot of people told me, like, uh, you know, get the venue first. Make a guest list. Uh, you know, all of this stuff. And I'm a very, like... ADD writ, writ, written, written, I'm a very ADD written kind of person, so, and I, I don't like to do things, you know, consecutively in order, maybe this is why I suck at planning a wedding, but I don't know. Anyway, I was online at work and I was really, really bored because I have a really boring job, and they, I came across a sample sale, Kleinfeld sample sale. My friend from Texas also emailed me and was like, hey, Britt, Kleinfeld is having a sample sale. Like, we should go. And it's like, I don't even have a venue yet. I have nothing. I mean, I've been dreaming about wedding dresses. I watched Say Us to the Dress. I love Haley Page. Like, I think that's where it's at. She's where it's at. We both have curly hair. We both have bulldogs. I mean, she is everything I've ever wanted to be. But, you know, we'll get back to that. So I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know, like I shouldn't. It was on President's Day this year, so um, February 17th, 2019, 2020, sorry, 2020. And um, I just didn't know. I was like, I don't know. It just And everyone was talking like mad crap about it, too. They're like, you don't even have a venue. You're doing this out of line. You're going to regret this. By the way, my wedding um, is supposed to be in 2021. So I get what they were saying, like I do get it, but like I just wanted to go. Like I just want to go and do things. Um, I also have a lot of fears surrounding my wedding and wedding dress shopping because my mom died when I was younger and I feel like it's just very, very emotional. So anything that brings wedding dress shopping to a new level and it's not like, I don't know, emotional, I wanted to do it. So I was like, okay, you know what, fine. My friend convinced me, Lillian convinced me, and she's like, I'm buying my ticket, I'm flying in from Texas, we are going to this sale. So the day of the sale, um, we woke up around seven. They said that the stores open up at 10. I'm gonna recheck that, um, I'm gonna recheck that. So say the stores open up at 10, you're supposed to get in line early. So we got there around 8 and the line literally was all the way around the block down the street. Like it was insane. This is block number 3. Block number 3 everyone. Block number fucking 3. These ladies are crazy. It's getting crazy out here. Getting crazy. Um, the girl, the first girl in line was like, I got here at 4am. I got here at 2am. Like it was just insane. Like I'm not, first of all, this is New York freaking city we're talking about. There's no way in, you know, mama's land that I'm going to grab a freaking chair and a tent and sleep outside. Like, I know people do that, but like, <laughs> no, thank you. So she can't outside. There's rats in New York city. Okay. There are rats. It's dirty. And you don't know what the heck is going to come out at any moment. Like a homeless person could just jump you and be like magic. There you go. So there was no way I was going to be like, 4 a.m., let me go. I think it was, there was one that was 1 a.m., and she literally camped out. And I was like, I don't even like to camp in the freaking woods. I am not camping in New York City. No, thank you. So I don't remember what number I was. I do have pictures of it. I'm going to enter these pictures. So around 9.45, they start coming around, and they give you a number. Right. And that number is to symbolize when you can go in, when you can't, but you still have to wait in line no matter what. We were online from 
I would say like six, seven hours. It was like insane, 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 insane. But I literally had the best time of my entire life on that line. First of all, these two girls behind me were so young and I was like really confused and worried. I was like, these are like freaking child brides here. Like this is nuts. And like I asked them, I don't know how we got into a conversation, but we got into a conversation and they, they were devs, debutantes. So they were at Kleinfeld to get their debuton dresses, and I've never met a deb before. I'm friends with them on Facebook and um, Instagram now, because I was so intrigued. I was like, this is some OC, like, this is an OC kind of thing. I want to know more about your little walkout, and you're a woman now. I thought when you get your period, you're a woman, but no. In the white, rich world, there's a thing called the debuton. So that was interesting. Anyway, once people go in, um, they come out and they get their dress, right? So I got so bored and I do have ADD. I would like go to the front of the line and I would wait. And when people came out with the dress, you would like, woo, 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 woo. You would like cheer them on. It was like very girl power kind of thing. And, um, and I would like ask them, I'd be like, hey, like, can I just know what you paid for your dress, what kind of dress you got, do they have Haley Pages, what's it like in there, da 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 And all these girls would tell me, like, they'd be, they're so excited because it's so freaking, like, I'm going to tell you the price of my dress and I'm going to tell you what I got it for, but, like, it's insane. So I'm hearing these prices and I'm like, holy moly, I'm all the way in the back, I'm not going to get a dress, I'm not going to find anything, they're not going to have anything I like, and I'm, you know, I started getting sad because I was like, I should have freaking camped out! But I wasn't going to do that, so whatever, this is real life, <laughs> it's happening right now. So, all the girls uh, caught on to the fact, they called me the news reporter, they're like, there goes the news reporter, ask her, ask her what's going on. So all these girls online were like, asking me like, who did this, who did that, I had pictures, I literally would take my phone and I would take pictures of these girls' dresses when they showed me them, and I would like, go down the line and show them to all the other girls. I, I was having the time of my life. It was literally like my favorite time of year here and I don't even like Christmas. So a little bit later, um, as I got closer to the line, the cameras from Say Yes to the Dress did show up um, and they interviewed me. I got interviewed. I'm probably not going to be on their show because I'm freaking nuts and they were like, this girl is crazy. Um, so I finally got in and they take you in and you go downstairs, right? Um, downstairs there is a coffee bar kind of thing and there's a bunch of jewelry and shoes that are on sale. So my friend Lillian got Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo Choo's? Jimmy Choo's? Jimmy Choo Choo's. I don't know who Jimmy Choo is. But she got, she was really excited. She's like, I can't believe I'm getting these shoes for like $60, $30. I'm going to ask her how much she got these Jimmy Choo shoes for. But she was like mad excited to get those shoes at that discount. Because she's like, these are like 600 700 I don't remember. They were like mad money though. So you wait down in this freaking basement after you've been outside for eight hours until they call the next people up, right? So that's phase two. Phase three is you finally, your numbers get called. Uh, you go upstairs. The one thing I didn't think I would like, but I did like because I was sharing, you do share rooms sometimes. It depends on what your number is. So I was sharing a room with a debutante. Um, she was so cute. I loved her. She was the cutest little thing. But you do share a room, and I thought like we were all going to be like undressing and like trying on our dresses in the same room. Like that was my fear. Like it was going to be a girl's locker room. And listen, I don't like getting naked in front of people. So like, this girl's locker room scenario I was going to put myself in, I was so scared. But that's not what happened, thankfully. So you get um, an assistant, a store person, I don't know what to call them. I got this girl, she was mad cool, and she goes, okay, we're both sharing a room here, go find, you know, three dresses that you want to try on, and we'll go from there. All the dresses are out in the open and they're arranged by A-Line, Mermaid, they had Panina Tournay all in one section, they had Haley Pages, um, but it's divided like that. 
So it's like A line, B line, mermaid, I don't know. Whatever. If you if you know dress talk, like you know what I'm talking about. I don't really know dress talk that well. I just know. So I'm looking around for anything I can find of Haley Page. And I did find the dress I went in there looking for. 100%. I was on Pinterest all freaking week looking at Haley Page dresses. The dress I wanted, um, I found. And I didn't end up getting it um, just because there was a hole in it. So these dresses are um, samples, right? The dress I did get, the one I did pick, was uh, never worn before. Some of them are worn. Uh, mine was never worn and it was discontinued discontinued um, is what she said and it was just like the perfect fit I didn't think I wanted this style dress um, at all it was nothing I wanted long sleeves I wanted classic romantic whatever um, my number one thing I did not want was a strapless dress and the dress I got is strapless people I was amazed buy everything because I did not I went in there and I was like I'm not getting a strapless dress I hate my arms I used to self-harm which is really why I don't want to get a strapless dress but whatever um I just don't want a strapless dress I tried this dress on and I came out and it's um I don't know I mean my fiance is probably not gonna watch this but I mean it's just a huge dress it's just huge and you just feel like such a bride in it and I came out and all the girls were like you look so good. You know, they were talking me up. They were talking me up. But I was like, all right, I see what you're doing here. Um, let me tell you the price. Let's go over the price. The dress was $3,500. Uh, 3500 Maybe more. I'm going to have to check my, uh, my dress because on the receipt, it just tells me how much I paid. So in total, for that dress between $3,500 to $3,700, I paid $871. 871 and it was definitely worth it um, if you want to camp out in New York City you can do that I didn't I would just suggest get in there extremely 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 early I also RSVP'd online and I don't see how that mattered um, you're supposed to get like a discount or, I don't know I don't think you really have to RSVP online honestly like I did it and nothing freaking happened like they didn't ask my name, I got a number, I still waited online for like five freaking hours, six hours, um, it was not. But I definitely recommend it. Um, I did, so I did go to David's Bridal the night before to try on some dresses because people were like, you don't want that to be your bridal experience, you don't want to, that to be your dress shopping experience, and it's like, you people have mothers. So this is what I want, this is what I'm doing, leave me alone. And I am 100% so happy that I went to this sample sale and that I didn't just go to a regular store and like try on dresses like that. Um, I see how people would want to do that, but for me, I mean, uh, this is something I'll remember for like the rest of my life because I loved it. I, I, was, I was in love um, with my experience at the sample sale. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, maybe I'll do a Q&A about the Kleinfeld sample sale. Later.